Okay, so look at that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so, can, can, I, can I see that card, please? Yeah. This is what I'm seeing. <laughs> oh. I'm having a really fun holiday. Yeah. So, it's just another President's Day miracle. This is amazing. This is my favorite animal in the world. He's the most cantankerous, probably has the, the worst reputation for having a Napoleon complex. This is the American badger. Um, and American badgers, obviously, are very infamous animals for being mean or aggressive. Because literally, that's a grizzly bear in a little 20-pound package. He could scare off a grizzly bear. That's how, that's how tenacious this animal is. Now. So what makes you so cuddly to him? <laughs> oh, I get bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's bitten you? Oh, yeah, and she loves me. Yeah, that's Stella. Stella is, yeah, great. Stella loves him yep. and sh shares and that with bites. him by, yeah. bites, by, by biting, biting him. him. So which president do you think would have a badger? Think about the most outdoorsy president that we've ever had. Who would be Roosevelt? like Roosevelt? Roosevelt. Theodore yeah. Roosevelt, believe it or not, had a pet badger that was given to him by a little girl. A little girl threw it at him, a baby badger. <laughs> he caught the badger. His wife fell in love with it. They went back to the White House, and the little badger ran around the Oval Office. They bottle fed it. And uh, so amazing for Can you, of all presidents, to have a badger? Theodore Roosevelt is one of my favorites. He established the national parks. Yeah, he's probably very the badger, cool. And the badger probably had a big part to do it. Thank you, baby. Bye, Thank Stella. You, Stella.